The second sub-step is to locate the source of conflict among insights. Conflict can come from many places. We should consider conflict between the concepts, theories, assumptions, methods, phenomena that are relevant to the insights we've identified. Once again, visualizations like tables, charts, graphs, and maps can help us organize the sources of conflict and how they relate to the problem under investigation. Tables 9.6 through 9.13 in the textbook provide good examples of how you might want to organize your research.